How's it folks? For this video, I want to cover all the weapon blueprints and how to get them that weren't covered in my previous video, which will be linked in the description if you have missed it. This one will also include all the developer or easter egg weapons that you can get a blueprint for. There will be a couple of easter eggs not covered in this video as they are either aren't weapons or they don't give blueprints for you to craft. I'm going to start off with all 10 of the quest reward weapon blueprints that you could get after the gut feeling update. Then, the two event weapons and finish off with the easter egg weapon blueprints. There will be chapter marks so you can skip to whichever one you wish. Firstly, you can get the plumber's hammer from the quest Tears or from the contaminated water quest from the bazaar. The engine bludgeon you can get from the quest The Ball is in Your Court from Dodger in the bazaar. You can get the Grave Digger from the Infected Intelligence quest where you can take a quick quiz from Mr. Z. The answers are Banshee, Bolter, Revenant and Suicider. You can get the Blade Axe from the quest The Reddest Red where you kill a goon to get its blood for the artist to use. You can get the Bolted Bludgeon from the quest The Raid which is the main mission where you have to rescue Carl from the Bandit Camp. You'll get the reinforced stick from the quest Into the Dark, but you will have to have given the water tower to the PKs instead of the survivors to unlock this quest. Alternatively, you will get the gun hammer from the quest The Revolution if you give the water to the survivors. So either way, you will need to make a choice on which weapon you will prefer for your playthrough. The next weapon is the Ass Pick Claws that you can get from the quest spa game and is only available if you sided with Juan during the welcome on board and gave him the transmitter during the broadcast quest. You can get the shoelace machete from the quest now or never which is a mission where you have to go to the renegade stronghold near the end of the game and deal with the colonel. And finally you can get the weapon heavy duty from the last main mission in the game X13. The two event weapons are the pickaxe, which came from the viral event that just passed, although some have said they have gotten it from the loot box crate then from the pilgrim's outburst, so you, it may not be completely unavailable for those who have missed the event. And the next weapon is the bowie knife that is said to be coming in an upcoming bundle or event that has yet to be released. If you don't feel like doing multiple playthroughs just to get these weapon blueprints, then there is a mod on the Nexus that unlocks all the weapon blueprints for you. And now let's move on to the East Egg weapon blueprints and I want to start off with the Doom East Egg as it contains two blueprints. In order to start this East Egg you need to collect five black rubber ducks scattered around the map. The first is in a safe at the top of the VNC tower with the code of 666. The second is near the dam wall on top of a skull. The third is northwest of Shenzhou's camp near the observatory inside one of the gate towers. The fourth is inside the boot of a sunken car just past a GRE anomaly area shown here. And the last rubber ducky is in Old Vullador near this red car inside the chemical zone so you will need to be quick about picking it up. Once you have all five ducks, go to the VNC tower and go down to the basement. Go under the water and swim straight ahead.
you will come across this corridor and another elevator that helps set the mood. Next, you will need to create a pentagram using the cables and the Doom East Egg will now be available. In the Doom level, there are two weapon blueprints to pick up. Follow the path to get a secret entrance to a room that will allow you to pick up the Dying Force blueprint. It will let you roleplay as a Sith Lord and force choke enemies. Alternatively, you can hit a green button on a pillar if you head in the opposite direction from the beginning. The second weapon blueprint is a Zolder Easter Egg in a Doom level inside Dying Light 2. This one you can get by taking the left corridor in the room with the zigzag green acid floor. This weapon does next to no damage, but might as well pick it up if you're going there anyways. While we are on the topic of Doom, you can get the Boomstick blueprint from the PK base, which is Dying Light 2's attempt at a gun. The next weapon involves a cyberpunk east egg. To get this one you need to go to the top of the VNC tower and paraglide to the tower south of you where you can have a brief conversation with an NPC called the liquidator and get the blueprint for the cyberhands 2177. However I feel like I should post a warning here as it seems like he doesn't spawn if you have already completed the Veronica mission and the big explosion happens. The next blueprint is very time consuming to get for something that isn't very useful. In order to get everyone can play blueprint you need to travel to the soccer goal post here and kick the ball through the post. Then fast travel somewhere far away, fast travel back and make your way there again to find the ball in a different spot. After doing this three times the goal post will have some electricity forming around it. After six times you get the Shocker Katana which is pretty weak but unfortunately you don't get a blueprint for it. After nine times you get a little dance by a goon and after killing the goon the blueprint will spawn under the goalposts allowing you to craft your own soccer balls now. The next blueprint is called the Pan of Destiny that you'll get from completing a mission by speaking to a chicken in the Renegade Stronghold after completing the main story mission. This one creates a pan that you can throw and it returns to you after each throw. You only need to craft one of them and you can spam it as much as you want. I generally prefer to use them against suiciders because you don't use any ammo and take them out in one hit as well. The final easter egg weapon blueprint is the left hand of Glover that you get from the same area as the Korak charm. To get there go to the top of the VNC tower again, paraglide to this tower and connect the power cables by going down the tower. Once there a dev room will open up. Sit at the coffee table for a while and the Korak charm will spawn that will allow you to repair any weapon in the game. Afterwards go to the bedroom with the teddy bears and sit down to wait for the blueprint to spawn. Other than the blueprints you can buy from the vendors and crafts master scattered around the map, 
This video and the previous one should cover every single weapon blueprint in the game as of the gut feeling update for Die Night 2. I do expect Techland to add more in future updates so I'll make another video for when that happens so subscribe if you wish to stay up to date otherwise I hope some of you found this video helpful. Take care and cheers for now.